Hello, my name is Maria, and I have a YouTube channel, and I just wanted to make another YouTube um, video for my YouTube channel. So, I have been thinking about this lately, and I wanted to make a video about it, and it's, it is, let's see, how do I explain this? I feel like my hair is all messy. It's okay. <laughs> um, I feel like people think or I feel like there's this conditioning where this conditioning that we're supposed to be busy and we're supposed to be in a hurry and we're supposed to fill our day and just be really busy people and do all these things and therefore we'll be productive people and therefore we're worthy. I feel like, and it's false, it's stupid, it's false. I, it's a joke to me. It's like, I do wonder, I remember when I was little and there was this country song. I forget the country song, the name, the band. I think they call themselves Alabama. I'm not sure. But um, there was this song, and it would stick out to me, even when I was little, when I was young. Um, and it would say, I'm in a hurry to get things done. I don't know why I rush and rush until it's no fun. All I really want to do is live and die, but I'm in a hurry. I don't know why. And I always thought there were, those were good words of wisdoms, wisdom. I feel like if you pay attention to songs, there's there's bits of pieces of wisdom in in songs, in a lot of songs, like bits and pieces that I've gotten. And um, anyways, that's one of them. And yeah, like why are we in such a hurry? Why are a lot of us in such a hurry and not stopping and just enjoying the moment? Why are we believing that we have to be in such a hurry in this false belief system like this? You are worthy. I am worthy. I, did, I don't have to do anything to prove my worthiness. I am already worthy. I was born with this worthy, with being worthy. You were born with being worthy. So we're, we're already worthy people no matter what. We never lose our sense of worth, ever. We may become disconnected to it, uh, disconnected from our truth and from our heart and from that feeling of being worthy, but in truth, we never, never can lose our sense of worth, our, our truth. Like, we're always worthy, no matter what. The day we're born, the day we're conceived, and the day we're in the womb and conceived, we are worthy people. The day we come into these bodies, these human bodies, we are worthy no matter what. <laughs> um, and like I said, yeah, I feel like a lot of people are in a hurry. Like, oh, I need to be in a hurry, this and this and this. And, um, but why? Why are we in a hurry? Why? Why not enjoy the moments? Why not really enjoy the moments? And yeah, just really enjoy our moments. And I'm very, I'm very blessed to, so I work as a massage therapist. The most that I usually work, massaging, massaging hours is like 10 to 12 hours a week massaging. Um, and I am able to make make a lot of income, enough income, a lot in, a lot to me, enough to thrive. I'm able to make enough and a lot to thrive, um, which is awesome, and I'm very blessed for that. Um, so I don't live a mainstream, I don't live like a lot, like I feel like most people are living, like in the mainstream, like nine to five job, 40 hours a week or more, um, that just doesn't, I, 
doesn't resonate with me. I, it doesn't make sense to me. I've worked jobs that are nine to five jobs. Um, I've worked in that and it was fine for then. I learned a lot from it, but that that's just not in my heart to work 40 hours a week. And I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. Like my, my time is so valuable. Um, I think it's ridiculous. And I understand there's lots of people that are in that working 40 hours a week. And I think some people really enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, that's one thing. Of course, if you enjoy it and you're following your bliss and you're loving it, that's one thing, you know, sure. But I do find that there seems to be a lot of people that are miserable with their jobs and like they feel like they're stuck in them and they feel like they're just working 40 hours a week and their heart's not even in it. Their passion's not even in it. So it's like, then I feel like you get a lot of people that are unhappy in society and that's not good. I want to see people shine. I want to see them shine and follow their passions. I want to see people follow their passion, follow their heart. I want them to, everyone, has gifts. Everyone has gifts. Everyone has talents. Everyone was born with certain gifts. Everyone was born with certain talents. Everyone has passion inside of them. It's just that you need to connect with it and figure out what you want to do, what lights you up, what lights you up. Like making videos to me on YouTube lights me up. Connecting, sharing like this lights me up. Um, working as a massage therapist lights me up. Working as a Reiki healer you know, with Reiki energy, um, as a Reiki healer lights me up. Any kind of healing lights me up. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I just, I wanted to talk about this because I had think, I thought about it. Like, it's like, sometimes I feel like we're just, and I get it caught up in this too, where I feel like I have to do this or that because I don't feel productive enough, um, therefore productive enough, worthy enough. Does that make sense? Like sometimes I don't feel productive enough and then that translates to me feeling not worthy. And then, but then I think about where did I learn that from social conditioning, false beliefs? It's crap. It's not true. We're worthy no matter what, <laughs> no matter what we are worthy no matter what, we are worthy. We don't have to do something to become worthy. We already are worthy. You see? <laughs> and, um, yeah, and I mean, yeah, I get caught up in the whole, like, oh, what are other people going to think about me? Because I don't live the mainstream culture. I don't live, like, the 9 to 5 job. I'm very, like... I'm not living in that mainstream culture and I love it. I love it because I don't believe in that mainstream culture. I don't like that mainstream culture. It's that mainstream culture to me is stressful, stressful and depressing. And that mainstream culture, I feel like it doesn't recognize my beauty and my worth and my awesomeness. <laughs> And so I say, forget it. I'm not living that way because I do not, it doesn't bring me joy. And so I'm very proud of myself to do that. And I mean, at the same time, I do sometimes get caught up in like, oh my gosh, what are people going to think about me that I'm not doing enough? Or I'm not, they might think I'm lazy. They might think I'm not productive. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and it's, and you know what? People are caught up in their own life thinking their own things. They're not thinking that about me. They're not thinking that. And if they are, it doesn't matter because I love myself. Because I love myself. <laughs> because I accept myself and I love myself. And I know what's best for myself. Out of anybody else, I know what's best for myself. My heart knows what's best for myself. I am going within myself within myself and trusting my own inner guidance system. Yes. Yes. So 
So, yeah. People, just stop and reflect. I'm sure you can make some time for yourself. I'm sure you can prioritize your time and find out what really truly matters and find out what how what truly matters for yourself and prioritize your time. Prioritize your time. Your time is very valuable. So prioritize what really matters to you. Okay? All right. All right. Blessings. Peace, love, so much love. Take care. Bye.